Hey there, since you are in this course, you probably already know what are intro videos about and how to use them and where they are used. In case you are not familiar with the topic, I want to show you a few things. For example, this is a list of YouTube channels of 2000 of the most subscribed YouTube channels and I've opened up a few of them and nearly every YouTube channel uses a video intro. That's for example a children's channel and even though the intro is very very simple, it comes across in all videos and it's a way of opening videos, of branding yourself and of gaining some credibility because if you have a logo, a intro and animation at the beginning, people start to recognize you and they know, okay, this is this dude who has this logo intro, I remember. I could follow up with several intros here, we will not preview all of them, but I just wanted to show you that video intros, hey if guys, they are Jeffrey similar here, across all of your videos, it really helps your branding. So a lot of YouTube channels like big channels, of course, use intros. There are some channels which do not use them, but that's really a personal preference. For example, this channel, uh, she doesn't use a normal video intro. She uses a, a video in the background and then she displays some, some title of the video. That's also a way to go because she has a very similar branding across all of her videos. That's also a great thing to do. Let's see, for example, here. You see several videos here and all have similar branding. They look the same, the colors are similar. So really, she does a proper branding on her channel. Other channels as well, they have intros. You can see this is a motion graphics intro and that's a style which I'll teach in this course. So I could go on and show you several channels, but you get the idea that video intros are used a lot. What else are video intros used for? Of course, they can be sold to clients. For example, you can create video intros and sell them on Fiverr or other platforms. It happens that Fiverr even displays my image here because I'm also a top rated seller on Fiverr, but this course is not about Fiverr, it's about logo intro animations. I just wanted to show you that there is a market for it. You go, for example, here and go to intros and animated logos. Other freelancing websites like Freelancer, Freelance.com, Upwork.com, People Per Hour, there are several websites where you can offer your services. Of course, Envato Market and Motion IRI and, and some motion design websites also sell templates. Normally, there are previews of videos here, but it seems that currently Envato Market has a little bug, but overall, Envato Market is a great and a really big and professional marketplace. There are also other websites like Envato Market where video animations and logo intros can be sold. For example, if I go to After Effects project files, we have logo stings, openers, titles. All of these are in all of these categories. Videos are sold, so it's really a great way to gain some exposure and sell your logo intros as well here. That's it for a little introduction, which I wanted to share with you how and where are logo intros used. I'm sure you are aware what they are and where are they used. And I would like to create a simple logo intro in the next lesson together with you to get us a little bit warm up and started with the content we will consume later. Thanks for listening to this tutorial lesson. I promise you there will be, I promise you there will be not a lot of lessons like this where I only talk about basically nothing, just informations because I like to get straight to the content and to the beef. So let's head to the next lesson right now.